In this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to place a fraction on a number line. So let's begin. Let's say if we want to put 3 over 4 along a number line that ranges from 0 to 1 in value. So where in this number line should we place 3 over 4? So the first thing you need to do is consider the value of the denominator of the fraction. So it's a 4. What that means is you want to break the number line into four equal parts. So I'm going to put a line in the middle and the mark here and here. So this is the first space, second, third, and fourth. So there's four equal spaces in this number line between 0 to 1. Now at the first mark, that's 1 over 4. The second mark is 2 over 4. The third one is 3 over 4. And 1 is the same as 4 over 4. So 3 over 4 is located right here. It should be placed at the third mark if you break the number line into four spaces. So let's try another example. Where should we place the fraction 4 over 7 along a number line that ranges from 0 to 1 in value? Should we place it here, here, or there? Or is it somewhere else? Feel free to pause the video and try that problem. So what we need to do is focus on this number, the 7. And so we need to break up the number line into 7 equal spaces. So this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Now granted, my drawing may not be perfect, but you get the picture. So this is the first space, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. So you want to make seven equal spaces. Now at the first mark, the value of the fraction is going to be 1 over 7, and then 2 over 7, and then you just count it all the way to 7 over 7. Now once you get to 1, 1 is the same as 7 over 7. 7 divided by 7 is 1. But now we're looking for the locality of, or the location of, 4 over 7, which is right here. So this is where we should place 4 over 7 along this number line. Let's try another problem. Let's say we have the fraction 5 over 6. Where should we place 5 over 6 on this number line? So feel free to pause the video and try this problem. So let's focus on the number 6. Notice that 6 is an even number. So the first mark I'm going to put is going to be right in the middle. So now I have two equal spaces, one on the left, one on the right. Now I need to break this portion into three equal spaces. So one, two, and three. And I'm going to do the same for this side. So now I have a total of six equal spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six. And so I can place the value of the fractions in order. So this is going to be one over six, two over six, three over six, four over six, and five over six and 1 is going to be 6 over 6. And so 5 over 6 is located right here. And so this is where it belongs along this number line. And as you can see, these problems, they're not that bad. As long as you follow the process, if you follow these steps, you can easily find where to place the fraction along the number line. Now let's work on one final example, 3 over 8. If you want to pause the video, feel free. So let's focus on the denominator, 8. So it's even. I'm going to put a number right in the middle. And so we have two equal spaces. And now we have 4. And now we have 8. So let's count it to make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is going to be 1 over 8, 2 over 8, 
3 over 8, it's a terrible looking 3, and then 4 over 8, 5 over 8, and just keep counting all the way till you reach 1, which is 8 over 8. So now we need to identify 3 over 8, and so it belongs right here along the number line. And that is it for this video. So now you know how to identify the location of a fraction along a number line. And so that's it. And if you want to find more videos on fractions, I'm going to post a few links in the description section of this video. And so that's all I got. Thanks for watching this video and have a good day.